The prostate, that little walnut-shaped organ tucked away in the male reproductive system, doesn't get much attention until something goes wrong. But today, we're giving it the spotlight and examining some everyday drinks that could be playing havoc with your prostate health. First up, let's talk soy milk. Soy milk, the vegan-friendly alternative to dairy, might seem like a safe bet, but there's a hidden danger lurking within. Soy is packed with phytoestrogens, which can interfere with the body's production and use of testosterone, leading to an imbalance that could spell trouble for your prostate. In fact, men who consume large amounts of soy products may be at an increased risk for prostate problems. But it's not all doom and gloom. The jury is still out on the exact relationship between soy and prostate health, with some studies even suggesting that soy might have a protective effect against prostate cancer. So, the moral of this soy milk story is that moderation is key. If you're concerned about your prostate health, limit your intake of soy products, especially if you're prone to prostate issues. Moving on to our next suspect in the case of the unhealthy prostate, we have bottled tea. Bottled tea might seem like a healthier alternative to soda or energy drinks, but don't be fooled by its innocent appearance. Many bottled teas are brimming with added sugars and preservatives that can cause inflammation in the body, which, as we know, is no good news for your prostate. Think of bottled tea as a Trojan horse. It's disguised as a healthy beverage, but inside, it's packing a punch of ingredients that can sneakily cause inflammation and damage. So how do these ingredients cause such trouble? Sugar, for starters, can cause insulin levels to spike, which can lead to inflammation in the body. Preservatives can also disrupt the delicate balance of bacteria in your gut, which can cause inflammation in the gut, which can then spread to other parts of the body, including the prostate. You might be thinking, well, I only have a bottle tea every once in a while. How much harm can it really do? The truth is, even small amounts of these ingredients can add up over time. That's why it's crucial to pay attention to the ingredients in the drinks you consume and opt for healthier choices whenever possible. And speaking of healthier choices, let's talk about energy drinks. Energy drinks are the equivalent of a high-speed chase when it comes to your prostate health. That's because energy drinks are typically loaded with caffeine and sugar, which can cause a real ruckus in your body. Caffeine, while great for giving you a boost of energy, can also increase inflammation and dehydrate your body. And when you're dehydrated, your urine can become more concentrated, which can irritate the prostate, causing symptoms like frequent urination and pain. When caffeine teams up with sugar, the situation can get even stickier. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to a whole host of problems, including weight gain and insulin resistance. It's not just about the risks to your prostate, either. High sugar intake has also been linked to a higher risk of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. And that's not all. The combination of caffeine and sugar can also lead to a roller coaster of highs and crashes in your energy levels, which can leave you feeling exhausted and drained. But let's not forget about alcohol. Alcohol may be the devil in disguise when it comes to your prostate health. It's like inviting a Trojan horse inside your body, except this time it's packed with something even more dangerous, acetaldehyde. When you drink alcohol, your liver converts it into acetaldehyde, which is even more toxic than alcohol itself. This nasty little compound can cause DNA damage, which can lead to cancer, including prostate cancer. And that's not all. Acetaldehyde can also weaken your immune system, which can make you more susceptible to various diseases and infections. Now, we know what you might be thinking but I only drink socially. Well, here's the thing. Even moderate alcohol consumption has been linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Alcohol consumption has long been thought to have some health benefits, particularly for the heart. But when it comes to your prostate, that's a different story altogether. Even small amounts of alcohol can be harmful, and the potential risks far outweigh any benefits. So what can you do to protect your prostate from the dangers of alcohol? First off, it's a good idea to limit your alcohol intake. The recommended limit for men is no more than two drinks a day. But if you're looking for a more proactive approach, you might consider making some dietary changes. Certain foods have been linked to improved prostate health, including tomatoes, broccoli, green tea, and fatty fish like salmon. These foods are rich in nutrients and antioxidants that can protect against inflammation and disease. So, instead of cracking open a cold one, why not crack open a can of tuna instead? Okay. It might not be as exciting, but your prostate will thank you in the long run. Finally, let's talk about fruit juice. Fruit juice might seem like a healthy choice, but when it comes to your prostate, it could be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Sure, fruit juice is packed with vitamins and antioxidants, but it also contains a fair bit of fructose, a type of sugar that can cause problems if you consume too much of it. Fructose is metabolized differently from other sugars, and it can cause problems with insulin regulation and inflammation. In fact, 
Research has linked high fructose intake to an increased risk of obesity, diabetes, and fatty liver disease. So how does this all connect back to your prostate? Well, when you drink fruit juice, you miss out on the fiber that whole fruits provide. Fiber helps slow down the absorption of fructose, which means it doesn't hit your bloodstream all at once. Without this buffer, the fructose can cause spikes in your blood sugar and insulin levels, which can lead to inflammation. And as we've learned, inflammation can cause all sorts of problems, including in your prostate. So, if you're thirsty for some fruity goodness, reach for the real deal, whole fruits. But fruit juice isn't the only source of hidden sugars. Many processed foods and drinks contain added sugars, like high fructose corn syrup, which can also wreak havoc on your body. So it's important to read food labels carefully and be mindful of the amount of sugar you consume in all forms. Another issue with fruit juice is that it's often made from concentrated fruit juice. This means that one glass of fruit juice can contain the equivalent of several fruits worth of fructose, which can really overload your system. The key here is to enjoy fruit juice in moderation. A small glass of fruit juice once in a while probably won't do any harm, but if you're chugging gallons of the stuff on the daily, your prostate might not be too happy about it. Instead, focus on eating a variety of whole fruits and vegetables, which contain a wealth of nutrients and fiber that can help support prostate health. And if you're looking for something to sip on besides water, why not try infused water? Infused water is a great way to jazz up your hydration game without any of the unwanted additives. Just toss a few slices of fruit or herbs into a pitcher of water, let it sit for a few hours or overnight, and enjoy. Here are a few ideas for infused water recipes. Cucumber and mint, refreshing and hydrating, with a hint of minty freshness. Strawberry and basil, sweet and tangy, with a bit of herbal zing. Orange and ginger, citrusy with a touch of warmth from the ginger. So, to recap, avoid soy milk, bottled tea, energy drinks, alcohol, and fruit juice in excess. Opt for water as your main source of hydration and jazz it up with infused water if you're feeling fancy. And remember, a well-balanced diet with plenty of whole foods is key for maintaining prostate health. Now, I know that making these changes can be difficult, especially if you're used to reaching for a sugary drink when you're thirsty or stressed. So, here are a few tips to help you break the habit. Keep a bottle of water with you at all times. If you have a water bottle with you at all times, you'll be less likely to reach for a sugary drink when you're thirsty. Switch out sugary drinks for healthier options. If you're craving something sweet, try a glass of unsweetened iced tea or a fruit-infused water instead. Set a goal. Decide how many sugary drinks you'll allow yourself each week and stick to that limit. Find other ways to unwind. If you find yourself reaching for a drink when you're stressed or tired, try finding other ways to relax, like taking a walk or reading a book. Stay accountable. Find an accountability partner, like a friend or family member, who can help you stay on track with your goals. Remember, making small changes over time can add up to big results. And hey, if all else fails, just think about your prostate. That should be motivation enough to skip the soda and reach for a glass of water instead. And that's a wrap. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the dangers of soy milk to the hidden sugars and fruit juice. But before you go, remember these key points. Moderation is key when it comes to beverages and your prostate health. Whole fruits and vegetables are the way to go for optimal prostate health. If you're struggling to make changes, set small, achievable goals for yourself. And last but not least, stay hydrated. Great. You're now equipped with the knowledge you need to protect your prostate from the dangers of sugary drinks. Remember, your health is worth the effort and your prostate will thank you. Cheers to a healthy and happy prostate. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode on the drinks that are wreaking havoc on your prostate. Remember, knowledge is power, and with this knowledge, you can make informed decisions about your health and well-being. Keep an eye out for our next episode. And don't forget to stay hydrated, stay healthy, and stay fabulous. Subscribe to our channel.